Hello, grade 9 learners! Are you ready to learn something new? Join me as we unlock the mysteries of learning English. Welcome! I am Sir Rean, your guide in analyzing literature. In today's lesson, you'll be engaged in analyzing literature as a means of understanding and changing values in the volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world. You are expected to define what prose is, differentiate fiction from non-fiction, and appreciate the value of literature by writing a story about oneself. Are you excited? So, sit back and relax, hold your pen and module as we cruise along in learning here in English 9. I am thinking if you could still remember the lesson in our last module, couldn't you? Yes, that's it. You've learned predicting outcomes. And to test out if you can make connections between texts to particular social issues, concerns, and dispossessions in real life through predicting outcomes, we will try it now. If you get the answers to those items correctly, it's a job well done. Always remember in predicting outcomes the following. Use background information that you already know or your prior knowledge and evidence on what will happen next. Monitor your predictions as you read and adjust or confirm them as needed to better understand the text. And use what the author, illustration, or text is telling you. So I guess you did well. Are you familiar with the person in this picture? Yes, that's him. He is Martin Luther King Jr. Do you know the public speech he delivered during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom? Correct! That is entitled, I Have a Dream. It's a speech to call for equality and freedom. It became one of the defining moments of the civil rights movement and one of the most iconic speeches in the American history. And at the age of 35, Martin Luther King Jr. was the youngest man to have received the Nobel Peace Prize. How about in this picture? Do you recognize who she is? Who is this character in a Filipino TV series? Correct! She is Amihan of Encantaja. She is one of the Sangres who has the power or ability to control the wind element. Hmm, how about this one? Are you familiar? Who is in the picture? You are really a Bustosenyo. It is Ambu, the icon famous here in Bustos. Who do you think is real or not? Among them, who do you think is fictional or non-fictional? But hold your answers yet. Let's talk about that in our lesson because today we will talk about fiction and non-fiction.
You've learned from your previous modules that literature has two major classifications, prose and poetry. But in this module, we will focus on prose and its two types. Prose is the more common writing form that everyone is comfortable reading and writing. Novels, news stories, instructional manuals, scientific papers, and so on are written in prose. It's a literary device that has no formal metrical structure. It applies a natural flow of speech and ordinary grammatical structure, rather than a rhythmic structure such as in the case of traditional poetry. Prose, as I mentioned, has two types. They are called fiction and non-fiction. Fiction. It refers to literature created from the imagination. This includes literary works that deals with mysteries, science fiction, romance, fantasy, and thrillers. The following are examples of fiction. Fable Fable is an allegorical tale conveying a moral or principle of behavior. It features animals that behave and speak as human beings, told to highlight human follies and weaknesses. Examples are the lion and the mouse and the goose with the golden egg. Legend These are stories of some wonderful events passed down through the ages. It is also a traditional story that describes the origin of things in the world, like the legend of pineapple and King Arthur with his knife. Myth. Myths are traditional tales common to the members of a tribe, race, or nation. Myth is a traditional story that usually concerns an event or a hero, with or without using factual or real explanations. This particularly concerns demigods or deities and describes some rites, practices, and natural phenomena. Examples of myth are characters of the Roman mythology and the famous Philippine Bakunawa. Novel Novels are prose narratives on a large scale. It is a long narrative work of fiction with some realism. Examples of novels are The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and The Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Short story. Short story is a prose narrative of limited length. It's a piece of prose fiction that typically can be read in one setting and focuses on a self-contained incident. The gift of Magi and the necklace are examples of short story. How about non-fiction? Non-fiction refers to literature based on facts, written materials concerning business, cooking, health, History and the likes are examples of non-fictional works. There are various types of prose non-fiction, and here are the examples of non-fictional works. Anecdote Anecdote is a brief story or event which may be unusual, humorous, and interesting. Essay. Essay is a short literary composition dealing with a single subject. Aphorism. It is a short saying or statement that provides wisdom in a witty way. Autobiography. Contents of autobiography is just like what biography has. The difference is that autobiography is a life story written by himself. Journal Journal is a scientific paper that provides theoretical information and is supported by facts and evidence. Literary Criticism Literary criticism is a narrative that judges and comments on the qualities and attributes of literary works. 
Diary. Diary is a compilation of one's experiences. At this point, I would like you to read the following literary pieces on pages 10 to 11 of our self-learning module. An excerpt of Shirley Jackson's The Lottery and introduction on the Filipino culture which is taken from the Department of Foreign Affairs website. Links of these two literary pieces are also available here on our screen. Kindly take note of the characters, plot, source of information, and its purpose. You may also pause the video and get back once you are done. Are you done reading and taking down notes? Let us talk about it. Fictional and non-fictional literary pieces have differences. These differences are attributed to its quality, structure, contents, and author's purpose. Now, it's time for some activities. Sort the characters and events on their appropriate columns. I would like you to place them accordingly. You may pause the video if needed. I guess you're done. I will now present the characters and events on their appropriate column. Check it out if you got it all correct. It's now time to use your talent within. Based on our discussion, you must differentiate fiction from non-fiction by creating an output from any of the following. Posted on the screen are the different options you may choose from. You have 20 minutes for you to produce an output which you think you're good at. Pause this video and play it back once you're done. Make sure to time yourself. See you in a bit. I guess you're done. What you have to do is to submit your output to your teacher next retrieval day. So, how was it? Can you now define prose based on our discussion? Prose is a free-flow form of literary work in which the author pens down his or her thoughts or feelings comprehensively. Prose is written simply without any stanzas. How about differentiating fiction from non-fiction? Can you do it? Fiction refers to made-up stories. These stories are not based on real-life events or characters. Fictional stories can be mysteries, fantasy tales, historical dramas, romances, etc. While non-fiction works are based on real people or events. Memoirs, biographies, documentaries, and works of history are all examples of non-fiction. It's now time for the assessment of learning. Read each item carefully. Tell whether if it describes a first fiction or non-fiction. It is based on facts and evidence-based information. 2. It is a theoretical. 3. Superheroes and villains may be part of the story.
animals may be main characters and can talk. Five, contents may include percentages and diagrams. Six, it is published in a reputable scientific journal. Seven, the primary purpose is to provide leisure and entertainment. Eight, it is a product of author's imagination. These are news articles from magazines and newspapers. 10. These are literary pieces aimed to provide moral and values education. 11. It is a document showing the inflation rate of the economy. Twelve, it is an account that depicts the history of American independence. Thirteen, this is an article that describes a disease or an illness. Fourteen, it contains mythical creatures and other out-of-this-world ideas. Current events. Let's check it out. This for the answers of the given statements. Pause the video if needed. Before we end this video, I have one last task for you to do. I would like you to write a story or essay about you and how you deal with the challenges in this VUCA world. Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world. Please be guided by the rubrics for essays and other narrative works which can be found on our module. Post your story or essay on your Facebook account and use the hashtag Reanalyze. Reanalyze the details, reanalyze your lessons, we analyze using this video. Do you have any more questions? And if you still have concerns, you may contact me through the following information posted on your screen. Stay safe and healthy everyone. Thank you and God bless. I am Teacher Rean, your guide in analyzing literature. Until next time, 